Ben never misses the sunset. This is, this is kind of funny. I just posted up a few pictures here on Facebooker. These are some shots I did in the back of my yard right out there and uh yeah i can't really see too well but the uh well one of them came out kind of goofy i didn't like it where did it go uh just because the bathtub here in the background that's where my landlord decided to store a bunch of shit was just in the middle of that so it kind of ruins my shots when i'm out there taking photography anyways jeff stoltz he's rambling around on youtube he went ahead and he masked out the uh, the bathtub. Could have done this myself. I do know Photoshop and everything, but I thank you, buddy. Thank ya. He's really good at making like car videos and you know, I just uh, lots of cool stuff. So yeah, check him out. Just the mailbox here and uh, grab the newspaper. Look who's on the cover. It's Nikki. There's a story here, I guess, about her truck. The North Saanich family restored a '56 Chevy Apache. Pick up on page 11. Just telling her about their father daughter truck project getting attention. I guess, uh, I don't know, it's getting lots of attention from LMC. I know that much. But yeah, that's Nikki Bun's truck, the one that I did uh, photography for a while ago. And that would be Nikki. I think she's in one of the old videos when I was doing the, uh, doing the photo shoot. But yeah, very cool. It's a sweet truck, too, man. No rest for the wicked. Yes, I am now taking the battery and the bottom part out of the old N5 I got from Lloyd because before I just swapped the battery and now it's not charging. So I need to take off this port, and put it in there. This is, I'm not going to explain this because it's like a total iFixit guide that just makes it way easy, but you know, just doing this for fun. That was my old battery. It's kind of expanded and looking weird. That's not good. It's ready to blow up and be an S7. And let's see if this one works. Hmm. Huh? And booted. Let's see if it charges. Well, it's charging. So, and this battery still had like 20% from God knows when. So, job well done, I guess. Alright, so a quick explanation there was the problem was that the jack on the back of the phone just wouldn't plug in. It wouldn't charge a thing. It wouldn't hold a charge. And the battery lasted like half a day. Got it? Alright. Fixed. I love to fix shit. Out of boredom, I took a Q-tip, just a little laser, of this old boombox and basically just put a rubbing alcohol onto it and then just cleaned it off. And now the laser works, even with nice and a little broken, which has 99 tracks. <laughs> That's kind of surprising because this would be a hard disc to read. It's even reading my burn discs, like older ones. Crazy. And it took like one minute. Woody Woodpecker. Let's see how close we can get. Come on, Woody. You're making mudgy noise. is he drilling into? All right, I don't even know what kind of computer this is, but I just totally cleaned it up with a uh, rubbing alcohol and paper towel and some gloves and that vacuum over there. Yes, I used a vacuum because this has not been plugged in in many, many, many years. But yeah, I ripped apart this fan. I took that back side out and cleaned it both sides. So that's good and new. Same with this one. That's for the drives, which were pretty interesting to get into. It works. It's clean. Amazing. Well, this sucks. I just got home and I got no power because they're doing a workout at the power lines, I guess. They come out here every once in a while and then they do it. They clear all the trees from the power lines, but I think one of them, or last time they were here for like eight hours, so I hope it's not another eight hour situation. It's donkey time. Yeah, and those guys are just out in the street somewhere just fixing stuff and breaking power. Alright, I'm using my phone as a wireless 
Wi-Fi point, but the boredom. I think I'm gonna rip this computer apart and uh, slap something else in it just to cure the boredom. Now we're rocking. I got the tablet out watching a movie and uh, the laptop. So this should last me hopefully till the power comes back on. Uh, fuck, I hate it. no power. We have power! Well, that was like the zombie apocalypse of uh, 2017. And we've been stopped and keyboards on. I don't know what it is about this place and kitties, but there's another kitty out there. It's not Hobo Kitty. He's on the roof. Okay. Okay, it's server update. That thing, the 840. Gonna try this with FreeBSD. That was an orange cat with like tags and stuff on it. Weird. I'm a cat whisperer. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, fucking give it a thumbs up and sub and all that shit. If you didn't like it, leave a message. Tell me why. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Rock and roll.